Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, last month, I promised you that this month would mark important new chapters and fresh beginnings where it came to love, and that energy certainly is there. But that's actually the energy that you will be ending this month with and entering next month with. So I'm going to ask you to refer back to this video once we get you to April. However, much of this month is actually spent in a slightly different focus before you can get to that breakthrough beginning that takes place for you towards the end. And what I'm seeing is that much of this month is spent in you really being very honest with yourself about why you want what you want, where it comes to love. Mars is retrograde in your sign. Now, Mars retrograde asks you to be honest with yourself about Mars energy and to use it wisely. Mars represents a lot of different things. It is an archetypal energy. And as part of that, it does represent what turns us on, what sort of we have an immediate physical reaction to. And with Mars retrograde in your sign, plus a full moon in the sign just before yours taking place in the middle of the month, it does signal you being really honest with yourself about why you want what you want, why you're triggered the way that you are, where maybe what you, what actually your stated intention is and what you actually want and you say that you want is different than what you actually have an emotional reaction to. And what is that reaction actually worth? Is that reaction something that is going to matter in terms of the love that you wish to experience and where it is that you can change that? And I do see that that being part of the larger lesson of much of this month. And it's actually part of a larger lesson that's with you throughout the first part of this year and as we head into the summer as well. And so that lesson stays with you. However, when you get towards the end of the month, I do think that that is going to be a moment when a lot of the work that you're doing starts to pay off. In fact, what I am seeing for a lot of you out there, if you haven't already been experiencing this in the month of February, um, March especially is very strongly indicated that you would um, sort of have a reaction to somebody and not necessarily know how to explain it, but feel almost an immediate draw to somebody, feel a pull towards somebody. And and ultimately, what you do with that is up to you. However, that attraction in itself is meant to make you aware of what it is that you actually have energetically been responding to and where you have the power to change your energetic responses. Because once we get you towards the end of the month, you're starting a new chapter in love. And those of you who are attached are going to find yourself sort of on the one hand, I'm seeing an honest evaluation of this person and why you've chosen to align yourself with this person and commit to this person, but where it is that maybe you have been drawn to qualities of this person that now you realize aren't in your best interest, you're actually going to speak up and you're actually going to say, hey, let's change this. Let's start again. And where it is maybe that you've had reactions that were negative to ultimately things that are actually really good and actually really positive attributes about this person that demonstrate their love, you are also going to be more honest with yourself about that as well and why you've been having the reactions you have been. And all of that is part of you reaching a deeper level of love, a deeper level of commitment as well, and feeling like you are ready to start fresh in a bond that is much more rooted in balance of perspectives and balanced perspective of your individual spiritual journeys as well, which is part of a larger lesson of this decade as Uranus moves through your opposite sign. Those of you who have somebody there in your sphere right now, I do think this provides you with the greatest learning opportunity. The chance of this actually being something that lasts into next month is really up in the air. I would give it a really 50-50 because next month is so much about fresh new starts and fresh chapters. I do think this month you having to be honest with yourself about why you want this person is either going to lead you towards them uh, dramatically so when you realize that, oh wow, this person really is everything that I believe that I'm supposed to have that I deserve to have. And I've been letting this other stuff trip me up, but it's really not about that. And to see the real essence of what's good in this person and being willing to commit to that and further that is possible. But also for some of you, and I think 
a good percentage of you actually, if there's somebody in your sphere, the likelihood of you saying to yourself like, oh wow, this isn't what I want at all. I can't believe that I've been drawn to this or I've decided to pursue this. That moment actually is very powerful because that means that you're moving towards greater love when you are able to acknowledge what isn't working for you and what you don't want. And sometimes that has to do with the other person. And sometimes it just has to do with you. But in this case, I'm seeing you really having to look at yourself and what, what has attracted you and deciding if it works or if it doesn't. And those of you who are open to love, I do think this is a very valuable time that in the larger trajectory of your life, you will look back at this year for a very long time as really preparing you for love because it really is about understanding what you want and why you want it, where it empowers you and where it doesn't. And where it doesn't, you're likely to do the work. So those of you who are open to love, I do see the likelihood of somebody showing up to help you to learn these lessons. In the early part of the month, it's more about sort of just your reactions and it's much more about your own processes and also, in all honesty, about reflecting on the past. But it is towards the end of the month and as you enter next month that I do think the likelihood of somebody showing up, sort of like a, a check to see if you really are integrating these lessons, if they really are something that you've been understanding more deeply, if these are lessons that have been shifting your energy and what you want in love, all of that becomes a lot more clear to you. So be open to that process because I do see that at least some attraction, one person is likely to show up to help you learn all these lessons and move towards greater love. And in all honesty, the likelihood of you meeting somebody towards the end of this month and into the next month, the likelihood of you meeting somebody who really could be someone solid into the future is very high. But it does revolve around you staying in check with your own energy and your own emotions and looking at where you've tripped yourself up in the past and where you don't want to do that anymore, where your energetic reactions really are about this person and where they're healthy and where they aren't and making a choice to go the route of something that is more empowered and fits into a more empowered and loving vision that you have for your life. Regardless, this month is about you being honest with yourself about what you want. And as you get that honesty, you're able to decide that what you really want is greater love and a healthy love, a balanced love. And once you come to that understanding, the realization of it and the fuller realization of it becomes that much more possible. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.